Hello everyone, today I will be ranking all 32 Mario Kart Wii tracks from worst to best. One thing to note is that all 32 tracks are really well put together, so there isn't a single bad one in this game. However, some are still better than others, so let's get into it. Number 32 in last place is Mario Circuit. This track is almost a figure 8 circuit, with the only thing changing anything up being a chain chomp you have to dodge. This track is beyond simple, the background is colorful, and I like that part of it, but overall, this track sucks. Number 31 is SNES Ghost Valley 2, and the track layout is very simple. While it is fun to play, there isn't a whole lot of detail in the background, but what is unique about this one is the fact you can run into blocks on the side, and they just fall right down, meaning if you run into areas that are already knocked down, you fall off the track. This is a pretty awesome feature, and while it isn't rated high on the list, it's still a pretty good track. Number 30 is SNES Mario Circuit 3, and this track did a beautiful job of recapturing Super Mario Kart. While the track itself is kind of boring, the artwork manages to remake Super Mario Kart in the best way imaginable. While it isn't as good as some of the other tracks in the game, it is still pretty fun for what it is. Number 29 is DS Yoshi Falls, and what I love about this track is the tropical setting. While the track itself is kind of boring, this track is in the middle of a beautiful mountain and covered in palm trees, making it a really nice tropical environment. The waterfalls that you can race on are a cool feature, and it loosely reminds me of Hytale Falls Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Number 28 is Luigi Circuit, and compared to other first tracks in Mario Kart games such as Mario Kart 7's Toad Circuit or Figure 8 Circuit from Mario Kart DS, this one is actually pretty good. This whole course is themed after Luigi, as you see a Luigi statue, a Luigi hat in the stadium, and signs everywhere with Luigi's face on it. This track contains the infamous ramp shortcut, as well as the speedy half circle at the end. While it is pretty simple, it is still really fun to play. Number 27 is N64 Sherbert Land. The whole track is covered in ice, making it really slippery. There is also an ice cave with penguins to dodge, and the track itself looks pretty. However, my only complaint is long sections where you just drive straight and there isn't much going on. Number 26 is Moonview Highway. This is just a level with a ton of cars on it that you have to dodge. However, if you eat a big mushroom, you can destroy all the cars, and it's kind of fun. This track has Toad's Turnpike vibes, and while it's fun to play, the amount of cars hitting you can get annoying, but only if you're bad at the game. Number 25 is GBA Bowser's Castle. This track is really fun and has a really nice layout with ramps and whatnot. The background definitely looks like a castle, and while it is fun to play, it doesn't feel immersive. It doesn't really feel like you're inside Bowser's Castle, even though you're literally within the castle walls. Everything is just surrounded by lava, and while it has a really good layout, the visual aspect is a bit weak. Number 24 is GBA Shy Guy Beach, a really fun course that takes place in a tropical environment where there are even pirates in the background. This track really feels like a pirate themed level as cannons even try to shoot you while you're racing. Plus you have to race across little islands so it's like you're racing on a tiny archipelago which is an interesting concept. Number 23 is Moo Moo Meadows which is a track that takes place on a farm. You see barns as well as a windmill in the background and you have to dodge future hamburgers walking in front of you. You also have to dodge moles that come out of the ground, and there are some neat ramp sections in this track as well. Definitely a fun course to play. Number 22 is GCN Peach Beach, which is a lovely looking beach track. The main gimmick of this course is dodging cataquack creatures that try to shoot you in the air if you hit them. In this track, there is a shortcut with a ramp you can take, however I usually don't use it. What is interesting about this track though is that there are waves going up and down, so you can be on the sand and next thing you know, you're in the water. Plus one cool fact about this course, you can see Daisy Cruiser in the background, which references a track from Double Dash where you race on a cruise ship. Number 21 is N64 Mario Raceway, and I really like this track because it feels a lot like what I think of when I hear Mario. This track has you making a lot of turns, going past piranha plants, and eventually into a tube. While this track isn't super unique cosmetically, it is really fun, and I really enjoy this one a lot. Number 20 is Daisy Circuit, and this one takes place during a sunset, making the sky orange, which was a really cool way to match Daisy's favorite color with the background. This course also seems to take place by the water in a city, and it honestly reminds me of Florida. That's probably just me, though. I really like this track, plus Daisy is kind of forgotten in the Mario universe. She doesn't appear often in mainline Mario titles, and didn't even show up in the latest Paper Mario game, which was a disappointment, so I'm glad to see her get her own circuit track. Number 19 is DS Desert Hills. Now, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I really like this track. It's kind of mediocre, it has some turns and bumps here and there, but what I really like about this one is the atmosphere. It takes place in an oasis and passes some desert ruins, and part of the background looks similar to New Super Mario Bros. Personally, I really just like the theming of this one. Number 18 is GCN Mario Circuit, and this one is way better than the Mario Circuit we discussed earlier. This track is centered around Peach's Castle, and there are a lot of twists and turns you have to make while dodging piranha plants and chain chomps. Definitely a really good track for looking like a world one of a lot of Mario games. Number 17 is DS Peach Gardens, and this track takes place in a garden full of flower patches that slow you down unless you have certain power-ups, which make for nice shortcuts. And you also have to dodge chain chomps.
Number 16 is Wario's Gold Mine, and this is a really unique level with steep ups and downs. You also go through a cave with bats and even have to dodge minecarts that are on the road. I also really like the background of this one with all the tubes and structure supports. It really makes this feel like a mine. Number 15 is DS Delfino Square. Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube was an amazing game, and this course is based on that. You race through a village, go past a dock and fruit market, and eventually make your way to a bridge which randomly lowers and heightens, making your ride over it different every time. This is a fun track that I really like. Number 14 is Grumble Volcano, and I really like this track because it does something not many other tracks do. There are earthquakes during the race, so each lap, certain parts of the track fall off. Plus, you have to dodge walking fire things, and you have to make your decision on which route to go at the end. I definitely like this track, and it's lots of fun. Number 13 is DK Jungle Parkway. This is a track that was based off Donkey Kong 64, and I've never played that game, but I assume Nintendo did a good job of making the track look like it. In this course, you go off a giant ramp, go through the jungle, and into a cave. My only complaint about this course is that coconuts don't hit you if you go off bounds. The original track on Mario Kart 64 had that, but for some reason, they removed it on Wii. Number 12 is Dry Dry Ruins, and I absolutely love this track. It is by far the best desert course in the entire series. You go inside of a desert ruin, where sand pours from the ceiling as you dodge pokies. You have to dodge some bats, and overall this feels like a fun desert experience. Number 11 is N64 Bowser's Castle, which is an absolute masterpiece. You go into Bowser's Castle, dodge some thwomps, and later go up a tower to race on the castle walls. I really like how immersive it feels as you go in and out of the castle, and it is my second favorite Mario Kart Bowser Castle track. Number 10 is GCN Waluigi Stadium, a dirt track that has a lot of bumps and turns. It kind of feels like an actual dirt bike race, which is what I like about this one. There is even this really cool section where you have to dodge fire rings and annoying piranha plants that will block your way. Definitely a great track. Number 9 is GCN DK Mountain. This is one of my favorite courses in Double Dash, and the Wii version is pretty dope as well. This track has you shooting out of a cannon to the top of a volcano, one that has a face, which makes it even more awesome. You make your way down the volcano to dodge falling rocks while making very sharp turns. At the end, you cross a bridge to a finish line. What's even more interesting is that there are volcanoes in the background, and it kind of looks like they're blowing smoke rings, which is kind of funny. Number 8 is Mushroom Gorge, a beloved classic that everybody knows. This track has you bouncing off Amanita mushrooms, which is very satisfying. Part of this level takes place outside, and part of it takes place inside a cave where you go bounce off shrooms in succession, allowing you to do a ton of tricks, which is really dope. I can see why this is a fan favorite, and personally, I really like this track. The recent remake of it made its way to my top 10 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Tracks video, link in description. Number 7 is Maple Tree Way. This track takes place on a giant tree that you race on. While on top of the tree, you have to dodge giant wigglers who like to be morons and stuff right in front of you. There's a section where you go in a tree and later where you bounce off a net multiple times and it is very satisfying. Number 6 is Koopa Cape because it is a beautiful track where you race down a river surrounded by trees only to go down a clear pipe that goes underwater. From here, you can see the ocean around you, and there's flowing water in the pipe that makes you go faster, and while you're down there, you have to dodge electric spinning things. This is a really good track. Number 5 is Bowser's Castle, and this one is absolutely amazing. You dodge thwomps almost the entire time, and you have to dodge a Bowser statue throwing fireballs at you, and the entrance to the castle is even modeled after Bowser's face. This track is really immersive, and even adds a trippy section where the course kinda looks like it's wiggling around. In my opinion, this is the best Mario Kart Bowser Castle. Number 4 is Toad's Factory, perhaps one of the best Mario Kart tracks in existence. It has really unique elements such as giant crushers, racing over moving assembly line belts, and predicting what speed boosts a bulldozer will cover, so you have to choose the other one to gain speed. This is definitely an amazing track with an amazing soundtrack, plus the factory looks like a castle. Number 3 is DK Summit, because it's one of the best no-themed levels in existence. You start by launching out of a cannon, followed by going off ramps and performing tricks off snow bumps. You proceed to make sharp turns to avoid falling into a canyon, and then you finish off by going through a half pipe, dodging the thick snow that slows you down, as well as shy guys doing tricks. Number 2 is Coconut Mall, and I think we can all agree this is an amazing track. Taking place inside a mall, this course has you trying to go up the right escalators, and it has you dodging cars with me's inside of them. This track captured the look and feel of a mall really well, and the design of this one is amazing. Plus, the music to this one is a banger. Finally, at number 1 is Rainbow Road. Every Mario Kart game has a new Rainbow Road, and Mario Kart Wii is no different. This track is absolutely beautiful, and it references Super Mario Galaxy by adding star bits onto the track. This track is filled with so many crazy twists and turns, and it is a very difficult track. However, it is super fun if you're good at the game. This Rainbow Road is the GOAT of Rainbow Roads, and the one I think of when somebody says Rainbow Road. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you stuck till this point, you're a legend, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. I will be making more dope content in the future. Peace out.